all right guys in this video i'm going to show you how to log complaints on your op app the new op business app which is what op wants all their agents to be using now so i'm going to show you how to log any kind of complaint on your op app whether it's where whether your customer is debited on your pos machine and you want to log it on your op app so that the money can be reversed to your account or reversed back to the customer or whether you do a transfer and the transfer is not successful or any other complaints so in this video i'm going to show you how to log complaint on your op app all right if you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button below also turn on the notification bar so that whenever i release awesome content like this you'll be the first to know all right let's get right into the video all right so the first thing you do is to launch your op business app as you can see here i'm already logged in so you can see my name at the top okay it's reloading all right so the next thing you do is to go to uh, complaints you see complaints right here when you scroll down you see complaints you see complaints just click on that so okay so you see uh, it will display all your transaction for that particular day you can see today is 17th so if, it, if the transaction was done at a previous day let's say let's choose 14 14th of that month so it will, so we can see more transactions here so you can just select the date here select it uh, this is from so sorry this is the from date that's the older date then this is the uh, newer the, the newer date so you can select that so you can also select the transaction type so if, if you just want it to display just the client transaction alone but let's let's not make this video complicated so we just click on that and select the date let's look for the client transaction so maybe the customer says uh the the, the debit me uh let's see let's see okay you can see this decline transaction so you can't log approved transaction i believe so uh you can only log decline transaction you can see this one is purchased that's pos withdrawal let's say this customer came back to complain that oh my money has been debited so let's you click on that particular transaction so at the bottom here you see complaints so you just click on complaints so then you fill so you can see that if you bring the customer's details so make sure you always confirm the customer's card pan before you log in so that you won't uh, mix it up because the card pan is a unique number that is the first six digit of the customer's atm card that is the, the if you look at the front of the customer's atm you see one long number which is usually 15 digits so the first six of that 15 digits this is this one why the last four the one that last it that is the last four at the end of the 15 digits is this seven seven eight nine three so you have to confirm if this particular transaction is for that customer by checking his last four digits here all right with if you are confirmed you can just this one is you can just field complaints reason just put my customer's card my customers my customers sorry account was debited for a declined transaction transaction all right customers account but you don't need to be grammatically right just put uh, something that anyone reading it can understand so just put it there say then click on confirm okay terms and terms and agreement by logging this complaint you agree to give cash to the card holder once the transaction complaint is settled and your wallet credited resolving this issue may take up to a week so click on okay so what that means is that uh if the money because if the money is with opay that is if the money gets to opay so they will credit your account uh within a week usually within three days but if OP check their wallet at their end and they did not they can't find the transaction they will ask the customer to go to bank so what they ask you to agree to is that if you see the credits in your wallet because you are the one they will credit if OP finds it in their in their own end you are the one they will credit so what they ask you to agree on is that you actually pay the customer after they credit you which is something very good all right so that's this is the complaint progress you can see is writing uh complaint you can see um he's writing pending actually pending so that means the the, the dispute we have not confirmed the transaction status 
you can see of your complaints it will be done no longer than in, than the next working day usually within 24 you can see usually within 24 to 72 working hours so that's when they will help you check and see if they actually receive credit so when they credit you you'll be able to see it on under your transaction here I'm coming so when they credit it you'll be able to see it on that transaction um I'm coming no okay you can you can also check it under this complaint or you go to um you go to where is this tra okay transactions here at the top here So you you see that they will credit it as part of your transaction here. So you you see it uh, among the transaction there. And guys, if you want to check the status of the complaint, if you want to check whether they have resolved it or not, so the, what you do is to just come to this complaint again. You come to this complaint again. You can actually monitor the progress at the bottom here. You see where they write complaints. You can see complaints complaints so you see this is in 9000 something we just logged now you can see the date we log it is on 17 so just click on it so it will show you you can see it's still under pending pending so which means you have to calm the customer down and tell them the money will be reversed all right that's how to log a complaint on your uh, op app on your op app so all right if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up also so don't forget to subscribe to this channel all right i'll see you in the next video thank you